Hey everybody, Andrew here. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. Today, I'm just back out on the property. You can see that I've got my last little tray of uh, red pines here that we need to plant for the winter. And uh, we're gonna put those here. So in one of our last videos where we were uh, looking at the red pines, we did create a space right here. We've got a little bit of dirt. It's been raining, but uh, they're gonna go fit right in here. I'll get that done. And we've got something else to move on to. All right, so that last one's planted and we got to get moving on to something else. Uh, it's warm here in Northern Ontario today. Uh, it's supposed to hit 38 with the Humidex or something ridiculous like that. So it's early in the morning right now. So I want to get started. And uh, this is what we're up to today. So we got a load of a gravel in here. I don't think we'll spread it today, but we got a load of uh, six inch minus over here and another one just over there. So from the other angle, there's the a gravel six inch minus i'm going to spread that out here and then meet up in the middle with this guy here so i'm going to push this pile first and then see where we get i brought a couple boards over here to try to make the inside corner so that i don't use too much six inch minus on the inside so i know need to go get some fence posts and uh, get those into the ground and see if we can make a corner here Oh my goodness, okay. I just cleared off the uh, hillside here with those weeds. If you have a weed eater, use the weed eater. I used my uh, little brush ax here, dumb. Anyway, whew. So I just built a little uh, fence here. It's more of a guide that I can follow with the tractor uh, just to keep the six inch minus in where it needs to be. If I had a, the tractor over here with a bucket, I should probably move some dirt over here against it, but I don't have it here. And even from the other side, I can't really get to it. Time to go get the tractor and change the buckets. Well, I got both loads leveled and I'm just a little bit short, but that's okay. Cause all that eventually someday is going to be a uh, six inch minus as well. And we may have to put another load in here to bring this up just a little bit more, but it all depends on the level of where the shop is. So I'm thinking that this is probably going to have to come up another, geez, probably another foot or 18 inches. So we'll see what happens.
All right, so I spread out the egg gravel here. I've got a thin coat, not quite as thin as I was hoping, but it's gonna pack into the six inch minus and with the rain and it's gonna be sitting a year. Um, so I'll probably get another load and spread it out over here. Um, yeah, because I, I need to get this all off to the edges. I wanna put a border around here as well. Kind of like what I did with the driveway over there, uh, just to keep the stones in. Uh, I want to get it square, 44 feet, uh, two feet on each side of my 40 by 40 building. That's code. So I want to get some of this gravel close to the sides, but I want to get that board up so I can get the dirt on the other side. On the outside, put six inch minus on the inside and then just start letting it pack um, naturally over time. And that's why I want just a thin coat on here. With a thin coat on here, what's going to happen is that it's going to sink into any cracks that could be here in the six inch minus and uh, fill them up and make this thing really tight. The six inch minus has been sitting here for two years, um, so it's probably pretty much settled. But I do want to fill in those cracks and holes and make sure it's all level and tight and uh, uh, rain or lots of water and, and the egg gravel will make that happen. Oh, God, I'm so excited about this, man. Can't wait to get started next year. Okay, well, I was trying to do this by hand just to like level some stuff out and spread it, but it's too dang hot. So I think I'm gonna try this uh, next time I'm here. See if I can use uh, a back blade or something like that. Anyway, whoo, what a day. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. You know, the plan here is to be able to build our 40 by 40 garage uh, in 2024, hopefully July or August, and uh, we'll get the foundation in. We're gonna be cutting our lumber and uh, yeah, we need approvals and all that good stuff. So if you guys uh, are interested in this, hit that subscribe button to follow along. It doesn't cost you a thing, and it sure means the world to us. And until the next one, keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Live in the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.